in the last topic we have discussed about selective breeding and now we are going to discuss about the different animals different animals means that goat yak understand they are all giving us wool and they are all giving wool so we are going to discuss about the animals that giving us wool okay so first is that animal that yield wool are yak wool yak wool we are using which yak that present in tibet and ladakh understand and next we are using mohair mohair means hair hair of mohair means hair hair of angora goat that is present in kashmir hair of angora goat present in kashmir we are naming it as mohair that is present in kashmir region that hair also we are using and pashmina shawl they to make that also we are using the wool understand students and then we are using llama and alpaca in south america these are the animals that we are obtaining the wool and this animals names and the um, from where it is present it's everything there in your textbook you can refer that so what is the first animal yak tibet and ladakh and the mohair hair angora goat that is kashmir the hair of angora goat is called as mohair understand keep it in mind the hair of uh, angora goat is called as um, mohair pashmina shawl for making pashmina shawl they are using lamla and alpaca are the other sheep that giving us wool understand students mostly sheep wools are we are taking and these are special type of goats understand students one is yak and this one is goat and this also a type of goat understand we had listened the poem also na baba black sheep have you any wool means not only sheep goat is also giving us wool understand so other than this camel rabbit this type of animals wool also they are using understand students let's move on to the next topic the process what are involved in the processing of the wool okay